It's a little under an hour away from tip off. The Aztecs are set for their Sweet 16 matchup against the one seeded Yukon Huskies. Both the Aztecs and Huskies have looked absolutely dominant in their first two games of the tournament, but now this will be each team's toughest test. Yukon is currently favored in this one by 11 and a half points. That seems a little too high for me, but let's bring in the Aztec legend himself, John Howard, who was out in Boston preparing for the big game. John, before anything, man, I'm sorry. I wish we had an umbrella for you. Uh, it looks a little cold out there, brother. Uh, yeah, it's not only wet, it's pretty brisk out here. Uh, but my dress shirt and tie are, you know, I got to wring them out when I'm done. Meanwhile, you're sitting by the warm fire in the cabin there, known as CBS 8 Studios, Marcus. You know, you mentioned 11 and a half point uh, underdog the Aztecs are. They lost by 12 to this UConn team last year. I certainly hope it's closer than that. If the Aztecs make their shots, I think it will be closer than that. And if they really make their shots, UConn is in trouble. Quick note, Marcus. Uh, at least one national media outlet has ranked the remaining 16 teams and they put UConn as the number one and they put San Diego State as the 16 seed for Pete's sake. I don't like that. Now, the guys for the Aztecs, they can't wait to play this game. They're looking forward to it. And when you look at the microcosm, macrocosm, this is a team that never gives up despite being a 12 point underdog, despite a hostile crowd that will be in there tonight, despite the lack of rest and the cross country flight. And despite losing seven games in conference this year, they are in the Sweet 16 and looking forward to the rematch. It's a credit to the kind of kids we recruit. You know, they're hard workers. Uh, they can deal with adversity. I mean, we got beat a lot this year in hard road environments and uh, took everybody's best shot and, and not unlike Connecticut. They took everyone's best shot, but they won a lot of those games. That's why they're the top seed. Uh, we won enough of them to earn a five seed. Definitely a blessing, you know, to be here in the Sweet 16 again. Uh, you know, to be able to play UConn again is, is great, too. You know, they, they took us down last year, so uh, we definitely want some revenge back a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's, it's an honor to be here, I and mean, we can't wait to play. But it's been a challenging year because everybody – uh, knows that we played for the championship last year. Everyone knows uh, what we've done in the Mountain West. And so I think all those moments have prepared us for this moment, hopefully, that we played hard environments, we played hard games, and we've somehow uh, been able to stand on two feet and continue to win. And that's our goal for tomorrow is to find a way to stand on two feet and win. And I, I like what Coach Dutcher says there. Let's hope those moments have set them up and prepared them for this moment. And these Aztecs, I tell people that don't watch the Aztecs very often, if you're watching a game and the Aztecs fall behind by 10 or 12 or 14 or 16, don't walk away from the TV. As long as there are five minutes to go and they are down single digits, it will be a game down to the bloody end. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to this rematch with UConn tonight. It's going to be another tight match. Let's just hope it doesn't get to a 12-point loss like last year, Marcus. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, John. And like you said, this team never gives up, and we see that. We've seen Jaden Ledee absolutely ball out throughout this tournament. I want to know, it's almost a given that he's going to have a big night. Give me another guy who you're interested in seeing who can kind of step up to the challenge. I think the shooting of Darion Trammell. Trammell, he lost his starting job basically mm -hmm. to Reese Waters at the beginning of this season. But at the end of the season and into the postseason, he's been a baller. And if he can hit his shots and Lamont is Lamont and Ladie is Ladie, those three, those three guys are really the key to getting a win tonight. Mm -hmm. John,